used to be an athlete. <laughs> I'm going to be putting most of my weight onto you. Do you think you can support me? Can I have a hundred dollars? <laughs> every day I leave, every day I leave, I pray someone will give me a hundred dollars. <laughs> so if anybody wants to ensure that I have faith in God. <laughs> All right, Darren, you do have broad shoulders. I have to make sure that you have a strong lower back. It's nice and firm. <laughs> Relax, I'm not gay. I was just looking for your wallet. <laughs> Aubrey, check for your wallet. Check for it. Now I know where it is, you suck. <laughs> you guys, don't yeah, worry, I am not gay. I've tried it ten times. I haven't liked it once. Alright, here we go. Darren, square up, bring this leg forward, and whatever you do, don't fart. Alright, here we go. Darren, I am going to be putting most of my weight on you. Aubrey, Darren, follow my instructions that I give you by name and no one will get hurt. If I fall and get hurt, I will sue you. <laughs> if you guys are injured, you can sue me. Look at all the rad crap you're going to get. <laughs> Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, well, you're taller than the last guy. With your right arm, let go for just a little bit. Let go with your right arm, Darren. And then let go with your left. <laughs> This way, turn and face the crowd. Yeah, face the crowd. Face the crowd. Give this guy a big round of applause. I'm going to count to three in every language of every country I've done my show in. And I'm going to do it while I juggle. So stop moving, it'll make it hard. <laughs> One, two, three. Canada and France. Un, dos, trois. Mexico, Spain. Uno, dos, tres. Rome, Italy. I, 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 I. <laughs> Juggling in Alaska. Look, I can see Russia from my front porch. Darren, aren't you glad I'm not a teabagger? <laughs> Juggling in Alabama where I was born. There's one. <laughs> There's that one. And there's that other one. I'm going to get off your back there and we're going to get on the unicycle for the grand finale. Give them one more big round of applause. Woo! Terry, stand like this. I need you to stand like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Not like Hitler, like this. There's a Jewish fest right there. We can't do that. Hold on, hold on right there. Aubrey, stand just like him. Stand as close to me as I'm standing to you. <laughs> Scoot over just a bit. This arm, please. Oh, no, wait, look, is it, you got the knife? Okay, good. This arm, please. This way. Okay. Yeah. I went to public school, too, didn't I? All right, this is what's going to happen, guys. I'm going to use your guys' arms to catapult myself up. Once I get up, Darren, go back over there with your wife. Is that your wife? No? She's so much prettier than your wife. All right, I'm going to hold on to you for extra support while she hands me the knives. One. And sometimes I fall straight over, so if there's some chubby people that want to lay right there, <laughs> soften the fall. All right, one, two. Oh, and when I say step up, step up, lift your arms slightly. One, two, three. Step up, step up, step up, step up, step up. I'm up. My thumb. My thumb. Wait, that's not my thumb. Aubrey, I want to thank Darren. I want to thank you for taking the time today. <laughs> well, let's have one L. <laughs> Aubrey, Aubrey. Folks, we are doing something very special in Pack Square here today. We are filming a new show, a hidden camera show for the Fox Network. In those windows, we have hidden cameras. Aubrey, the name of the show is Dancing with a Fool. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. Hey, Aubrey, we're not actually.
actually filming a show for Fox. <laughs> you may have seen me on Fox on a show called Cops. <laughs> One at a time, Miss Hemi, the first night, putting a handle up yeah. directly in the palm of my left hand. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have picked the blonde. <laughs> my left hand. Uh, do, do you work at the DMV? <laughs> taking so long. <laughs> That's the last night. Hand me the first <laughs> That's number two. Okay. Okay. I'll get those. <laughs> That's a joke. How the hell can you? <laughs> Look out! Okay, hand me those two. What was your name again? Kristen. Do you see the chainsaw back there? You see that chainsaw? Hand me the knife. <laughs> Kristen, huh? listen for your round of applause. <laughs> Yay! Kristen. Kristen. Yeah. Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys having a good time today? Yeah! You should get out more. <laughs> when I was a young kid, about that dude's age, I saw a juggler. I said, Mama, I'm going to be a professional juggler. She said, baby, you can't be both. <laughs> but because of people like you, I've been all over the world. And every time I come home to the States, I'm proud to look my mama in the eye and say, mama, your baby boy is achieving his dreams and accomplishing his goals. And folks, that means all the world. From the bottom of my heart, give yourselves one last round of applause. You see, kids, if you have a dream, if you have a dream, listen up. Look at me. Go to college. <laughs> but if you have a dream, work hard every day in some way. With enough hard work, time, and faith in yourselves, you kids can accomplish anything you put your minds up to. And kids, remember, if your parents don't put five bucks in that hat, it's only because they don't believe in believing in yourself. I'm joking. It means they don't love you. You know your parents love you very much, so ask for a 20. I've never gotten one in America before. I'm going to juggle these, jump down, and do the chainsaw. Please don't leave now. It makes me feel like my high school counselor was right. <laughs> Guys, one last thing. I am a juggler. I don't, not, go ahead. I don't have a $5. That's here. okay. Five ones, dude? That, that works. <laughs> Folks, remember, I am a juggler. Not a magician. <laughs> if we slide towards your face, yeah, we're it is no illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just wait till I get the chainsaw started before you send your kids up. <laughs> I'm gonna juggle these, jump down, and do the chainsaw. You know, folks, the first time I saw a guy with three razor sharp machetes juggling on a giant unicycle like this, I was so impressed, I forgot to clap too. <laughs> professional. That's why I do shows on the street corner. <laughs> Seriously, kids, don't try this at home. This was 15 years in the making to bring this show to your family. And it hasn't always been a walk in the park. Today, I think I did a good job. Did I do a good job? <laughs> Folks, please don't forget to do yours. If you, don't, if you don't know what to tip, just keep in mind, when I first started doing this, everybody would give me a couple bucks. And I'm a lot better now. <laughs> if you're Republican, ten dollars in that hat will prove to me the trickle-down theory worked. <laughs> if you're a Democrat, cash is not the only green I accept. <laughs> Kids, don't do drugs. They make it hard to become successful. Unless your name is Lindsay. <laughs> Guys, if I've said anything that's offended your family, write it down on a $20 bill. <laughs> I'm going to fire this up. We're going to do the grand finale. You guys have been awesome so far. Don't blow it now. <laughs> this thing's kind of like Tinkerbell. you got to cr clap, scream, and cheer it back to life on stage. <laughs>
don't take any out. <laughs> Honey, you're fine. Yeah. Bye, Foxy doesn't even have a job. <laughs>